Hey, welcome to Frank's Favorite Foods, where I'm always cooking up a good time. This is the channel where I teach you how to make restaurant quality food at home. You guys like the Crab Imperial video so much, I thought I'd introduce you to its spicy cousin. This is Cajun Crab Imperial. If you haven't subscribed, you can do that right now. Also, hit the little bell. That way, you'll be notified every time I put out a video. So, this is my take on a Paul Prudhomme recipe from the 70s. The holy trinity in Cajun cuisine is celery, onion, and bell pepper. This is a third of a cup finely chopped celery. This is one third cup finely chopped yellow onion. Tradition says use green bell pepper. I'm gonna go absolutely berserk and use red, yellow, and orange. We're also going to add one third of a cup finely chopped green onion. The last of your vegetable prep is two tablespoons of fresh chopped parsley. Next, put two tablespoons of butter in a hot pan. Add your peppers, green onion, celery, and yellow onion. Saute your vegetables until they're caramelized. Remove from the heat and refrigerate. Now we're going to make the Cajun Imperial sauce. Start with one cup of mayo, two tablespoons of Chef Paul Perdome's Redfish Magic Seasoning, one teaspoon Worcestershire sauce, two tablespoons of spicy brown mustard, a half teaspoon of cayenne. Next I'll add my chilled sauteed vegetable mixture. The next thing you'll need is some hot sauce. One of my favorites is fire ant juice, made locally here in South Florida by my good buddy Chef Wayne. I'm gonna add a tablespoon of fire ant juice. Give that a good stir and set it aside. I've drained one pound of jumbo lump crab meat. To that, I'll add two tablespoons of freshly minced parsley. I recommend adding the Cajun Crab Imperial mixture a little bit at a time. You don't want it to be too wet. As I hope you can see, this doesn't have quite enough sauce, so I'm going to add just a little bit more. So this is what it looks like. This is just the right amount of sauce. While I'm only making these two on camera, one pound of crab meat should yield three nice portions. You'll notice I'm dropping the crab meat in loosely. I'm not gonna pack it in there. That way it heats thoroughly. Next, you're gonna take some of the remaining crab imperial sauce and put it on top. The last step is to sprinkle it with a little paprika. That way it gets nice and golden brown on top. Bam! Oh ho ho! Y'all gonna like this one, I guarantee. If Emeril Lagasse, Justin Wilson, the Cajun chef, and that guy from Swamp People somehow had a baby, it would sound like that. If you still haven't subscribed to my channel, do it now. Hit the little notifications bell, that way you'll know every time I put out a video. If you enjoyed this episode, please hit the like button. Or better yet, share it with a friend. I'll see you in the next video.